Meghan Markle is getting a ton of support after she was labeled as a quote, narcissist. Politico released a controversial piece dubbed 2022 is the year we all finally got tired of narcissist and it compares the Duchess of Sussex to Kanye West, Elon Musk and former president Donald Trump. Quote, my natural sympathy for the couple started turning to irritation and it occurred to me that ego has its limits. Joanna Weiss, author of the article said, adding quote, and it struck to me that the overreach that led to the Sussexes critically panned mega series is the same impulse that turned Elon Musk into a terror on Twitter that prompted Ye to up the ante of outrageous behavior until he crossed the line into blatant anti-Semitism that sent Bankman Freed from the top of the world to a bohemian jail. Following the release of the article, supporters of the Duchess took to social media to slam the piece. Politico's editorial director Ryan Heath also took to Twitter to defend the application after a follower disagreed with Megan being included. Quote, if you want to write off an entire publication because one of our 600 journalists included Meghan Markle on a list, you are indeed tired of free debate. If instead you actually just disagree with her being included on the list, you can say that instead. The most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected one, a person in America is the black woman. The most neglected person in America is the black woman. And as Muslims, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us to respect our women and to protect our women. The article comes on the heels of Meghan and Prince Harry's Netflix docuseries, which has garnered a lot of attention. Access Hollywood previously spoke with DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston about how the royal family might have felt about the release of the personal series. Could have been a little bit more of the positive aspects of the royal family and also Harry's experiences within the royal family. Now, obviously, he went through a huge amount of difficult circumstances, of traumatic experiences as a child. Any child who loses his mother is automatically going to feel huge levels of grief. But to do so on the world stage, as Harry had to, is just unimaginable. But we know that not every day or every experience within the royal family was negative for Harry. And I think that the picture that was painted in the first three episodes of this docuseries was that of doom, gloom, stiff upper lip traditions that no one could get their heads around and, you know, a kind of awkward first meeting with William and Kate that made the entire royal family seem as though they don't even know how to give a hug. Thank you.